Hi there guys, in this video I'll try and explain what's been happening with the ancient ruins and to bring you guys up to speed on it in case uh, you haven't been following it. Uh, bear in mind I'm not exactly an expert at this as there's bound to be commanders who know much more than me. Um, but you may be struggling to fire a thousand page thread at the official forums so I decided to make this video to try and cover some of the important facts uh, as I feel a lot of important information gets buried in the forum. So around about a month or so the community found these ancient ruins. At the time they didn't seem to offer that much and pretty much seemed inactive. Uh, we now know the reason was is that Frontier wasn't actually ready for us to find it. Uh, I remember trying to find an ancient orb and it would appear on the sort of map but I couldn't actually lock onto it. So anyway, fast forward a few months and now we have a mission at this alien ruins. Uh, the, main, the mission involves basically picking up certain alien items that are around the site and then scanning various obelisks with them. So before we actually attempt that, let's actually go and pick up the mission. For this we need to head to the system meme, or mem, or however you pronounce it, which is here. The system itself isn't too far, uh, it's about two or three hundred light years depending on your location. Uh, the mission I picked up at this station here, whereas you're supposed to be able to pick it up on any of the stations, but I got it on this one. As you can see, I'm just about landing to get the mission. So as we just land, you'll notice a notification that will come up on your top right. Uh, if we go and have a look at it, you can see that we've got a message. And if we have a look at it, you can see we've been contacted by Ramtam or something and he said basically he's found a way of decoding some of the data at the site um, so this is all this description you may want to pause it if you want to read it yourself you also notice that the mission is on your mission screen which you can find here uh, so you can actually read it again uh, you will notice that the mission reward is a hundred million credits which I'm not totally sure how you complete it at the moment uh, one thing to note about the mission description that it does say the word sites which would imply there is more than one. As it stands at the moment we only know of one site, uh, whether there is more I just don't know. If there is I will let you know. So now we have the mission it's time to head back to the alien ruins. You will find the crash site at this place called Sanuf XR-HD11-102. Uh, it's a nice short name, <laughs> maybe I didn't pronounce that right, I'm not sure, sure how you actually pronounce that, uh, anyway. So when you're there, uh, you'll need to go to Planet 1B, which is this one here. Um, as you can see, it's not too far. Uh, once you get near the planet itself, you'll need to head to the coordinates of minus 31.7, uh, comma, minus 128.9. I remember it is minus 32, minus 128 because it's just easier to remember that way. Uh, that will get you close enough to the site and you should spot it from space. So when you're at the site, just land as normal. The planet itself shouldn't cause you too much trouble. Uh, it's not one with a high G or anything like that. Um, so you will need an SRV or a little buggy because you will need to be picking up little items and stuff. Uh, your ship might be quite useful if you stick a cargo bay in it. Uh, the reason for that is that you can, when you've been picking up these goods, uh, you can only carry two in the buggy at the same time. If you stick them in your ship, uh, it saves you keep um, having to look for them. Uh, so you can use your ship as a sort of storage bay. Uh, these items and that I suggest picking up in solo because um, other players can pick them up and that way if you do in solo you can make sure you pick them up. So there's a various amount of items that we need to uh, use so the ancient casket is one of them. Uh, the next one it will be the ancient orb which looks like so. Uh, next we have an ancient relic. Then next we have an ancient tablet. After which we have the ancient totem. And finally the ancient urn. All of which can be picked up at the site. So the only item you actually need to do a little bit of work for is the ancient relic. Uh, these will pop out of the ground like so on these kind of mask things. Um, so you, what you need to do to actually get it, as you can see, it's the little blue thing at the top, is to use your gun on your SOV to actually shoot the enclosure. 
Uh, you can sometimes lock on with it in this view, but I suggest using turret mode. Uh, it just makes it that much easier to aim at it. I think if you fire a lot at the actual item, you can actually destroy it. So I only need a couple of shots and it should fall out. Uh, once it's fell out like this, you should be able to just pick it up as normal. So that's how you get them. Uh, uh, you will need two of each really because uh, some of the Obelisk will need two of the same. So I suggest putting two of each in your ship. So at this point you can actually try and actually solve the, all the puzzles yourself. Um, what you need to do is have two ancient items on board your SRV, uh, like so. And then once you've got them, you'll need to travel to an active ancient obelisk. That's quite a word to say, but anyway. Uh, so when you go around the site, you'll come across these obelisks or these kind of uh, pillars that sort of stick out like these ones in front. Uh, some of them will glow when you get near them with a sort of blue sort of uh, tint and they will kind of make a noise. Uh, you also see a kind of white blob on your scanner. Uh, so you can see here there isn't any active at the moment. I'm not entirely sure how they become active and how to, if they're active in solo or um, multiplayer, well, open or not. I'm not too sure exactly how they become inactive because there's ones that are supposed to be active and they're not. Uh, maybe some of you might know that. But as you can see, this one here is active. So once we get an active obelisk, what we need to do is to scan it with the SRV. Uh, it will be set, it's set usually as a second fire group. So now we've scanned it. Uh, we should get a message from that blokey uh, selling us basically if it's the correct two items with the right obelisk. Uh, in this instance it's not going to be right. Uh, one quick way of checking is to see if your reward's gone up. Um, here I did already have 13 million so that hasn't changed so that means I haven't scanned the right one. At the moment these uh, reports can take quite a long time to actually appear. Uh, some commanders are actually logging out and coming back in to actually see it. Uh, you should get a notification at the top saying that if it's correct or not. If it's correct, you'll get some information about the actual uh, what's been decoded. So as you can see up here, uh, these two here were failed attempts. Um, as you can, as I understand, I just got two random items and tried it. So I'll just delete them ones, I'm not really interested in keeping them. But underneath you can see these ones are decoded ones. So if we go to this one for example, you can see um, what he's decoded. So at this point you will probably want to actually have some help with this. Uh, there is a lot of combinations and different things you can try. Um, so I did find something to help with that. However, before doing that, I suggest you work out where you are in relationship to the site. So this is a top view of it. As you can see, there is some sort of distinguishing patterns. So if we make the circle at the top our kind of north position, uh, we've got two kind of areas to the left and right, which are probably where you're going to put your ship. And then we have this distinguishing kind of center line. Uh, we can use this to work out roughly where we are because it kind of separates the two areas which in here I've coloured orange. Uh, in a sec I'll show you how that translates into the game so you can work out where you are in relationship. Uh, this is kind of important because a map's going to not be going very useful if you're not knowing where you are on it. And this is something I found which helped me quite a lot. So as you remember that big orange section, uh, that is this section in front of me. Uh, this is where it kind of starts and it goes all the way up this way. Uh, at the top of it there is another a big kind of circle up there. So from that you can kind of work out you're on the right hand side of the map. Uh, if you were to drive down the bottom and then go around the other side you'd be on the left side of the map. So hopefully that will help you give you some idea where you are. Uh, I did find it very useful. So let's uh, have a look at this map now. So this is the map I've been using. It was created by another commander. I will post a link in the description so you can see it yourself. Uh, it will be very useful. Uh, so if we look at the map, we can see we have four beacons. These are marked with a B1, B2, B3, B4 in a kind of light blue color. Next we have our artifacts, which are in a yellow. So they are the things that are marked like O, T, A, C. Uh, these are like totems, caskets, orbs, uh, as you can see there's quite a few scattered around the site. And next we have our zones, which somebody's designated, so we have zone A, zone B, zone C, D, E and F, and finally G. So these are where our obelisks are. Uh, 
So if we have a look at cluster A, or zone A, you can see here that there's an actic relic number three. It's kind of at the top right of all the clusters. So if you take a casket in relic to that position and scan that specific active obelisk, you should get a bit of the thing decoded. Uh, basically, this is pretty much the same thing for all the others. So if I just quickly run through the other clusters, Bear in mind this is not every single obelisk unlocked and we don't know how much we have to do but hopefully this will give you a good start. So in cluster B there's two known which is on number 4 and 6. We need a two orbs and an orb and an urn. Next on to cluster C or zone C so we can see there's only four known which is on number 3 we want a tablet and orb. Uh, number 13 just wants a tablet, uh, 36 wants a tablet and relic, and number 48 wants a talic and a casket. Next on to cluster D or zone D, we can see that uh, only one is known, uh, number 9 which needs a casket and tablet. Next on to cluster E, so you can see three are known here, so on the first active obelisk, uh, number 1 we need an orb and a tablet. Uh, number three wants an orb and a casket and finally number six wants an orb and a tablet. Next uh, zone F or cluster F, uh, two are known here. So the number two wants a casket and then a casket, so basically two. And the fourth or uh, one will want a casket and a totem. Next uh, cluster G or zone G, so we can see quite a few here are known. So number 10 wants a casket and reddit. Number 17 wants a casket and urn. Number 18 wants a single casket on its own. Uh, number 20 wants a casket and orb. Number 30 wants a casket and a relic. 33 wants a casket and totem. And finally zone or cluster H. As you can see there's quite a lot here so I'm not going to run through all of them. Uh, feel free to pause the video at a different section so you can actually see them. Just want to add that you want to be very careful if you're doing this in an open game. I had a commander here who decided to attack everybody for absolutely no reason. I can only gather rather just for griefing people. As you can just see on the very far left there was an anaconda part there so he's destroyed that ship. And then to, just a few seconds later he goes to attack me as well even though I'm in an SRV uh, and he's in an imperial cutter. Uh, this kind of reinforces for me why we should have a PvE environment so we can actually meet other commanders and talk about this uh, puzzle without having all this to deal with. Uh, hopefully Frontier will add that soon but I understand some people don't want it but when you're trying to solve a puzzle and you get people attacking you for no reason uh, I don't see why at the point of it. Um, as you can see uh, something went a bit strange in my game and for some reason rather than just get the buy screen it disappeared and then when I come back the ship had 0% hull. Um, so just bearing that in mind if you're in open games I suggest if you're doing this do it in the Morpheus group or in solo whether that has an effect on the actual active obelisk I'm not entirely sure at the moment anyway I thought I'd just share that with you because it just reinforces a few things I think uh, as you can see there's some weird bug here at which the ship has suddenly got 0% hull uh, it did mean that I had to go all the way back and get repairs and finally, kind of the last thing I want to touch on is there seems to be a weird bug with the ship disappearing. Uh, as you can see here, there is no actual other ships or anything here. Uh, so that's, my ship's not here. And then when I go to this screen here, there's no option to recall the ship, uh, which potentially means you're stranded on the planet. I think it's something to do with the ancient artifacts or so of causing some sort of problem with the cargo bay or something. Hopefully this will be remedied soon because it is quite annoying. Uh, the only solution I've found so far to fix it is if you go into a normal standard elite game, not a horizon game, uh, what it will do is it will force you off the planet and it will put you back inside your ship. Uh, that way you can land back on the planet with your original ship and carry on. However, this is not great because you've got to uh, do all the landing again. Hopefully you won't come across too many bugs, but there does appear to be quite a few at the moment. Hopefully Frontier will fix them pretty soon because it is rather frustrating. Uh, another annoying thing is how long it takes to actually get the confirmation message. Uh, sometimes it can take anywhere up to 5-10 minutes. Um, Anyway, hopefully that's helped explain about the ancient ruins, how to start the mission and how to actually do a few of them. 
Uh, like I said, I'm not an expert at it and just wanted to kind of give you some uh, information of how to do it because when you first get there, it's very confusing and like I said, you don't even know where these items are. I spent about an hour trying to find an ancient relics and stuff like that there and it just, uh, like I said, pick them up in solo, it's my advice. I know this video was around about a week later and it should have been in some respects, however, in my defence, I was over in Colonia, uh, so I had to come all the way back and like I said I wanted to actually spend a few days in this area trying to work out what this is all about I didn't want to bring out a video which was kind of half assed where it didn't explain anything too particularly well so hopefully that's explained right and hopefully you can understand so guys thanks for listening I do hope this video has helped you if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them below they're always welcome I want to add, this is the first time I've kind of added a dialogue, written dialogue, and I've actually kind of spoke with it, so hopefully that's improved the video. Uh, if you like the video, please drop a like, that always helps me. Uh, if you also uh, subscribe, that's another big plus to me. So guys, thanks for listening, uh, take care and good luck out there. See you in the next video.